Hi there. Just a, a, a short uh, video this time. As some of you may have read in the newspapers and seen online, we have a possibility of a nice bright comet entering our skies this springtime. Now, we haven't had a naked eye comet of any uh, significance since the late 1990s. When we had two, we had Hayotaki and we had uh, Halle Bob, which for those here in the UK was spectacular in the Northern Hemisphere. Well, Comet C 2019 Y4 Atlas, and for those of you uh, unfamiliar these days, a lot of comets are named uh, by the satellites that observe them rather than being named by uh, human discoverers. So Comet C 2019 Y4 Atlas will come closest to the Earth on the 23rd of May this year. Its perihelion, or closest approach to the Sun, will occur on the 31st of May. Now, if the predictions are correct at this moment in time, Comet Atlas might reach a magnitude of about plus 5 around the 1st of May, which just puts it into the naked eye range. However, it will be very fuzzy and, and not that easy to spot, but you can see it. Um, and you can see on, on the images here, uh, its position relative to various star formations and stars over the course of the next sort of two months. How bright will it get after that? Well, we don't know. Because once it gets close to the sun, one of two things will happen. It will either brighten up or it'll explode. Uh, for more information on this, have a look at my video on comets. If it brightens, we're expecting its brightness to go anything from a magnitude of plus two, which is about the same brightness as Polaris, the pole star, up to about minus six, which puts it brighter than Venus at its brightest. And we've all seen how bright Venus is in the sky right now in the evening. But we have to wait and see because we can never tell. Comets are unpredictable beasts. This is at least the fourth comet in the last decade that we have said could brighten up to visual eye brightness and then has failed. How close will the, will the comet come to Earth? Well, it will pass at a huge distance of about one astronomical unit, which is about a, 150 million kilometres away. Actually, it's a bit short. That's about 120 million kilometres, but let's not split hairs on this one. And as we say, it will pass very close to the sun. In fact, it will pass closer to the sun than Mercury. Um, it will be about 37 uh, million kilometres from the sun, which puts it about 20 million kilometres closer uh, than Mercury. Well, I hope you enjoyed this short video and I hope you get a chance to see a spectacular comet this spring. Do look out for it at the moment. You can just about make it out with a naked eye. Certainly you can see it with binoculars. And uh, thank you. See you soon. Bye-bye.